Hello and welcome everybody, King Dems here and we are doing a little demo review today. Now this one's a little bit different in that I am uh, not going to be focusing on any one player in particular. But what I will be focusing on is the entire game uh, and trying to tell you how Forza were able to beat OG. Now we're going for a pretty standard, nice and pacey up short. So it's actually going to be tough for OG to deal with. Yeah, this is the uh, Dunzo. I don't know why OG got completely the wrong read there, because it looked like their mid player was rotating B. They seem to get completely the wrong read on that. Now they're going to go out mid. Yeah, they're not going to get any traction on short here, I don't think. Or maybe. Good flashbang from Nexa. Nah. Yeah, Forza with the right idea there, falling back, fighting off short there. There's no need to just kind of take the YOLO fights on short and... OG might have been able to trade. Yeah, well played by Forza. Great pistol run there. OG seemed to get a wrong read, right? It looked like uh, their mid player ran to B next. Uh, maybe he was expecting a split on B with them to come out middle. But yeah, just um, complete misread on the round there, it seemed like. But pretty straightforward pistol from Forza. Hard to deal with once they get up short like that. And there's only two players towards A. Like, it's really hard for OG to deal with. And uh, whoever was on the site, I think it was Valder, just got completely, like, fucking dizzy. He was spinning. He was lost. Didn't know what to do. So a very heavy B lean from G uh, OG here. Nice gamble, I think, on this one. It might get picked apart anyway. Oh, my God. Okay, Nexa was... Uh... Okay, it's gonna okay then. Nexa was whipping with that 5-7 hard. Okay, so that's a really nice uh, read from... O I say read. It's more of a gamble from OG, but... Uh... It's not unreasonable to think on a... Oh, flames getting caught in no man's land there. It's not unreasonable to expect on a on a second round that Forza will go towards B because it's kind of hard to go towards B on gun rounds. So it's very winnable for uh, OG here. I would go together if I was OG. Yeah, I wouldn't send one out long. You haven't got time with no kit. Good smoke. Oh, I like this boost. Mm, Zorta read it like a boot. Really, really nice from Zorta there. Save the AK at this point. Yeah, just get out dodge. He's got helmet and a deagle. We can drop that deagle over. Hang on to the AK. Mm, no, 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 no. Don't go this way. I wouldn't be trying to get an exit. Won't lie to you. That would not be what I'd be interested in. Oh, my God. Okay. He fucking absolutely nails the shot. Fair play. I probably wouldn't have been going for that exit there. Because a, a chest shot with the scout would have killed him. Right? But... Valder makes it work. So yeah, this is actually not bad. He gets to drop the deagle as well, right? Drop the deagle. Drop the deagle. Drop the deagle. Drop the deagle! Apparently he's just not gonna drop the deagle. Okay, there we go. Yeah, I was gonna say, fucking hell, drop the deagle, man. Uh, yeah, so this is kind of nice. Uh, it looks like they're gonna boost Valder up short. They fucked that boost up by the looks of things. It was a little bit slow. Wow, fours are very heavy with the with the B leans for control. I guess maybe that's an adjustment since the uh, the changes to dust two with mid. But OG seems to be aware of this tendency because they're kind of like being fairly aggressive and fighting for that lower control. And he's probably gonna be lucky to get even done it. Oh, Valder picks a kill up on short. That's really nice. Yeah, Mantu, I think, took enough attention there. So that was quite nice from OG. They set up quite heavy uh, to kind of contest middle, like one close to the doors and two up short. Obviously, Flame's not really, like, he's just facilitating Valder, but still. Um, So these have been quite closely contested rounds so far. Uh, Forza are making the right call here to go towards B. Yeah, this is this should be the round. This is a really, really nice call. Although they have baited Nico in. He's going to get one. No more. Still probably hard for OG to win this round. No kit. Do have flames on quite a quick backstab though. He throws the lurk smoke. Ooh. Get some info. They can uh, not change position actually. Zorta. Which is a bit of a surprise. I would have expected him to switch up his position probably. Ooh, Zorta through the smoke. That's probably it. Yeah. Yeah, they needed that. Um... Ooh, Valda though. Making things interesting. Valda started this game off well. Yeah, Forza read that. Read that like a book. We're very, very cognizant of the fact somebody pushing tunnels through the smoke was probably the only way they lose that round. And so they were very aware, just keeping an eye on that. 
again, if I was Valder, I'd probably just get the fuck out of dodge and save. But I guess they want to keep the Forza economy honest because Forza Forza have not been able to build an economy. If you look at their money, only Norvi has anything in his pocket. So like, actually, <laughs> if you look, OG have more money than Forza because of. Uh... So okay, fair enough. OG and Valder making Forza stay honest with the economy is probably a good thing. Basically, Forza like can't really afford to lose this first gunny, or this first half is gonna actually be quite rough for them, just because they're gonna be in a bit of an economic hole. Whereas uh, OG have built up a big losing bonus and have kept Forza's economy very, very honest. So they're looking for the boost. I don't know how I feel about that boost. Like, I don't see it work all too often. But I guess you have to at least sometimes contest mid with your AWP. You can't just not do it at all. Otherwise, you just basically say to OG that if they want, they can have the mid AWP on that angle every single round. So again, very heavy b lean from Forza in their default. They have a, uh, a unique default Forza for sure in this T side. Very heavy tunnels presence and basically one or two guys outside long to top of mid. But they've read the... Like, I don't like OG setup at all here, giving up, like, entire mid control. I think this is a bit scuffed. Flames gets the info long, but uh, Norvi has heard all of this. So, yeah, they're going to go for the A split, yeah. Because they know mid is basically empty, and they know that somebody has pushed for information long. So, I think Forza have correctly read the setup here. Jerry with the lurking middle. Oh, Nico catches Jerry. Yeah, Jerry, uh, unfortunate not to get anything done there, but they're right read from Forza, so they're going to get the bomb down. Mantu probably needs to hit some shots here. Oh, big nade, though. Yeah, sh this retake should work for OG. Oh, not if Flames is going to get caught with nades out. Oh, and not if that lurk's going to come from Norvi. Yeah, put together a really nice round here, Forza. They put together a really, really nice... Oh, Valder with the clutch, though. Is it planted for him? No, it wasn't planted for him. Ah, Forza put together a really nice round there. It was very, very back and forth. The backstab from Long was great. But in the end, a very chaotic retake. It just comes down to who's going to hit their shots. It, it was kind of nice from both teams. I think Mantu probably needed to get a little bit more done if that was going to be cleaner for OG. And, uh, and Jerry getting caught in middle, getting absolutely nothing done. But yeah, great read from Forza there. They're putting together a pretty nice T-half, um, even though they lost that round. And as you can see, this is where the cash troubles kind of come in. I guess because virtually everyone died in that last one, Forza can can afford to force up and like look to, again, if nothing else, keep the OG economy from building up. So uh, the economy has been quite important so far in this half. Um, right, we'll speed through the rest of this timeout. Valder playing really well so far, but I think he's probably OG's best player. Ooh. A smoke to get them across. Uh, 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 HE, sorry. Yeah, Jerry gets caught out again. Oh, not bad timing and spacing. Valder gets one blind. Oh, Zorta. Yeah, OG are getting caught with nades out a lot here already in this half. Like, keep your guns up, boys. Forza. Oh, he sees. Did he not see because of the demo? Is that Was that a demo thing? I think that was a demo thing. Yeah, he didn't see. I think that was a, a demo doohickey. So good from Forza to get the bomb down. Um, it means they probably take a partial in the next. And they force some rebuys. But OG kind of stabilise a bit here. Yeah, Forza will probably take a little bit of a partial. Yeah, they could afford a few bits and pieces. I'd go for at least something. Uh, there's no need to full save here. Yeah, just a few deagles, a few nades. Yeah, buy down to about 2k. So nothing crazy, just uh, <laughs> five deagles. And OG now should be able to start building into the half. That was a very important round to win relatively cleanly um, for OG. And obviously, fours are not going to go for their typical default that they've been going for a lot of these rounds. Um, because, yeah, they're on. They're kind of taking a bit of a French timeout, it looks like. In the sense that like, they're kind of faffing about. 
That might have just been them just trying to decide what to do, to be fair, Forza. How's Nexa not seen Jerry here? He was jumping and everything. Was it because Jerry stayed crouched the whole way? I didn't actually see. Double mid setup is the problem here. Yeah, that was going to be hard to get much done. The double mid setup is going to be very hard to break. So a better setup from OG here than on some of the previous rounds. I think their CT setups have been a little bit sus. But this one's looking better. And they made the right read. The Forza were going to try and get some Deagle headshots through mid. If they don't go out long early, Forza, then yeah, I don't know. It, it's pretty likely that they're just going to be fishing around. How did Mantu only tag him? Must have been through the door and the pole at the top of mid. No armor. It felt like even through the door, that should have been a kill. Oh, I don't know what Mantu's shooting out there. That was terrible. Right, so giving up middle, letting man to kind of spot mid from car. Yeah, this is fine again. Good crossfire. This is the right setup for uh, OG. Not that this round should be particularly dangerous anyway. Man two just going to farm some eco frags here. And Shalfi is found fairly quickly. So yeah, OG building back into the half here. Now they've got a big bank. This is a very important round for Forza. Forza need to make sure that if they don't win this round, they make it costly for OG. Otherwise, OG are going to build up a very, very big bank. And the rest of the half is going to start getting a little bit tough for Forza. Especially in like the CT side of meta we have where the A1S is so cheap. It's boost again. Can to find anything. A bit slow. Unlucky. But at least he spots some info. OG leaving one towards B. Again, very B. Yeah, this this default from Forza is very interesting. It's a very... Oh, Shalfi, though, with an absolute play through the Lurk Smoke. Exposes the fact that there's only one on B. Or doesn't expose the info per se, but ex exposing that kind of setup where there's only one on B. And yeah, they just take the pick and run. I like this. Ah, Norvi didn't really need to push long doors there. Don't know, you're kind of walking into an unfavorable fight if anyone's pushed. And Flames had already pushed that uh, an earlier round, so... Mm, and then Flames doesn't need to peek that. Yeah, both teams made mistakes there. Norvi and Flames both kind of... Norvi, I don't think he needs to push long doors on his own with no, like, flash or anything. Like, we'll just wait for your team and take that control together. There's no need to, like, go go through in such a way where there's no trade possible. Maybe he thought, because he'd been holding there all round, maybe he thought he knew for sure Flames hadn't pushed it, but... Yep, sure, again, the right call here. Um, Jerry's made a lot of nice calls so far on this T side. Um, Mantu's going to have to hit his shots to stop this. He needs to get one cleanly at the very least and probably get a chance for another. Mm, yeah. No, okay, no more flashes. Yeah, so Fours are suffering from a lack of utility here. This is kind of like a shooting gallery for uh, Mantu. But they get the bomb down, so not too bad. They trade one for the bomb. And it's a three on three. They need to push short. Yep, already uh, Kenzie is, is making sure that short. Yeah, this is the round. That's the round. That should be the round at least. It feels really bad not having anybody coming from short. Like having a player come from CT on a retake. As like, it just feels bad, man. Oh, Niku though, Niko. Yeah, nah. Really nice, again, round put together by Forza. Finding that pick um, was very, very impressive from Shalfi on B. That was very, very nice using that Lurk Smoke and getting that pick. And then just falling back off it was nice as well from Forza. No need to, like, push the issue. Just fall back, set yourselves up for the play you want to make. Norvi makes a bit of a mistake there, I think, pushing into long doors just in an untradeable way. And then Flames completely fucking throws it by peeking long doors there. Like, again, doesn't really need to. I don't know if he got a call from somewhere, but it, it looked like he kind of just got a bit itchy and, like, made that call on his own to, to take a peek there. Um, like, Forza, no, you're in there, you know? It's all about, like, kind of, like, opportunity cost. And in a 4v4 like that, like... What are you gaining from peeking out of long doors, really? Versus the potential risk of you kind of dying. It's 
just I yeah I don't think great decision making there in the round but ends up in the end Jerry making a great call again to go up short Jerry has done well in finding the gaps so far on this T side and if you put together a good T side in this meta it's that was a weird play that was very weird Yeah, not sure why Norvi is jumping through a molly before it gets extinguished. And, like, Flames has shown that he's going to be quite aggressive, I think, in fighting for that long control. Don't push again, Flamesy. Jerry kills Nico. Still no need to push Flames. I'm going to be annoyed if Flames pushes again. I I'd be pissed off in that scenario. Oh, hinge smoke. First time I've seen them do the hinge smoke. Maybe they have done it before, but... Val's just got to go to B because they can't just leave it open. And now, oh, are they going to find the gap again? Looks like they're going to make the right call again. I think in this scenario, you have to pull Flames back off long now. I think you can't play him that far away from the rest of the map. Um, I, I think this is something OG and not doing very well on this CT side. I think just fl Flames is like out in fucking no man's land. Yes, if they come through long, okay, but he's still in no man's land where no one can trade him. So I think in a situation where the map is made bigger by a trade happening, you need to just pull Flames off long. And now look, the rotation's so fucking far away. Yeah, Nexus should never be like, just wait for your teammates. Yeah, I'm not, not really very um, impressed by this CT side from OG. Fours are putting together a very nice C side, mostly off the back of, I think, Jerry finding the right calls and finding the gaps in the OG setup. But OG are just spreading themselves too thin a lot of the time on this CT side. A lot of their setups have been very much reliant on them um, getting frags. <clears throat> you might think that sounds stupid, of course. Your setups rely on you getting frags. <laughs> what I mean is they're not giving themselves chance to trade. They're not giving themselves chance to play together on a lot of these CT setups. And um, yeah, not not a huge fan of the CT side that OG are putting together. Yeah, they need a timeout to think about this because now economically that was a rough round to lose. So whereas OG... Oh, I've just turned the caster control off. We'll put that back on for now. Let's just skip through this timeout. Okay, so they do cobble together a buy. It's not terrible, to be fair. It's not a bad buy. Oh, three long. They've done a... Pulled a good setup on this. Oh, that is a struggle spray from Chalpy. Oh, Norvi, though. Nice. Oh, they do actually expect another man to be here. Oh, and then Zorte's not looking. Norvi punishes, though. Yep. That's just, it, it, those long fights are just absolutely manic, and it just comes down to hitting your shots. Vald is going to get mollied out here. Oh, no, he's not. Fours have pumped the brakes. Yeah, those kind of long fights, they're just wild, and it, it, it just comes down to who wins the gunfights. It's not very um, strategic or tactical. Again, I'd... <clears throat> oh, dearie me. Again, I'd like it if OG played closer together here. I, I just think splitting 1-1 one one is not going to get it done. Yeah, because Manti's just going to get fucking flashed off. Uh, smoked off. Yeah, I I really hate how OG are playing this CT side so far. I do not like it at all. I think they needed to just get Mantu into CT there and play closer with Valder. Um... I mean, I guess he's always just going to get smoked off. I guess it's hard to reposition there. Maybe, um... Particularly consider Valder is committed at car, but yeah, I don't know. I just think just sitting in that setup, you're not giving yourselves very many chances to win the round. Like, I don't know. I guess, I mean, Valder opted into that car angle. He did have time. He could have tried to leave and just go CT and play with his mate. Because worst case scenario there, right? Valder runs to CT, right? To play closer to Mantu in middle. If fucking Cross on long gets smoked off, just go and save the guns. Like, I think OG are, pl are playing a very low percentages game here. They're not... Like I said, they're not giving themselves, like, the best chances. A lot of these rounds, I think OG could have set up and played differently in order to give themselves a better chance of... Even if not winning the round, like I say, at the least there, they could have fucking saved the guns, for sure. Valde's still playing quite well. A very um, team effort from the Forza guys. 
Jerry calling a good seaside. And this should be 7-3 at the very least. And Saucer's not hit that shot one time. Okay. Oh, okay. Well played Mantu there to punish that. Yeah, they're not they were a bit slow to lower there. Forza's default, a little bit of a, a gap there, I think. Oh, Mantu overcommitted a little bit. Oh my god, Shalfi should get that kill 100 percent I think he panicked and rushed a shot a little bit. Jerry with the hinge smoke. Again, Mantu's playing so on his own though. Like, I don't like it. If he gets the kills, it looks great, but. I guess it's on a Nico round. Maybe we can let it off a bit more. But why, why aren't you playing more around the orb, man? Why isn't Flames closer to you? Why? I don't know. I fucking, I'm fucking. i really hating this CT side OG are playing here, man. I think they've really gotten away with this one here. The first kill from Mantu was great. I don't mind that. And then fall back. Sticking around for that fight in lower. Yeah, I'm not sure that was the play. And he, I think he got away with it. And he dies. Flames finds Jerry though. Norvi finds Nexa. Yeah, this round's gonna fall apart. OG get away with one there. Honestly, OG get away with one there. Fair play on Mantu. He makes the play. He gets the two opening frags. Um, but. I, I just why 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 does he need to be on his own short you know why why isn't somebody there with him don't know or if he is gonna go and take that dual short on his own just take it quickly and then fall back okay they got the two orbs on the same side of the map okay okay yeah so I think trying to counter forces approach. To taking control. And Forza finds next one. And again, Nex is on his fucking lonesome, and there's absolutely no hope of trading that. <laughs> Flames is getting aggressive long. Okay, so this is okay now from Flames because he's in a disadvantaged situation, so I don't mind trying to make the play. I really don't mind it at all. Good flash. Sorta, of, yep. Yeah, finds Mantu. Sorta of finds Nico. Big round from Zorta. And yeah, this is probably just a save. If I was Flames, I'd have stayed on long and just tried to save there. Trying to make the hero play. Uh, this seems this seems like there's a lot of this happening from OG where they're Oh my god, he might actually make this fucking hero play. Oh my god, he is making the hero play. Oh my god, okay. Oh, he's gonna die to the mid guy. He's just not expecting it. That is so unfortunate. Wow, okay. OG's whole CT side has basically been people individually saying, I'm gonna make a hero play, and it's fucking whether it works or not. I fucking hate this CT side so far that they put together. I think this has been pretty garbo. And um, to some extent, I feel like they're even lucky to have four rounds so far. Shalfi's got the long spawn. I think he's just going to go straight out here. Oh, no. He's going to take the uh, the shot with the orb. Observers, what are you doing? Thank you. They're going to get the long control for free anyway. Are they going to go for the re-aggress or are they just going to try and fight on the long corridor? I don't hate trying to... full double car. Okay. Uh, I think you just end up getting mollied, to be honest, but... Yeah, Flames leaves. Yeah, I think just play with Flames up against the wall. Yep, yep, yep. Mantu takes the uh, aggro. Oh, Mantu goes for a flash. Flames trying to recover the gun. Okay, see, I like that long setup. See there, play a setup where you can play together. OG have played way too many of these setups that have required people to, like, fucking make solo hero plays. This was way better. This is a much better setup. Okay, I don't, don't leave him all in... Okay, he's not. Okay, good. I thought Flames was, like, going to go play up on um, aggressive on short. See, two pushing tunnels. See, OG are actually fucking playing together this round. Like, everywhere the, where they've done stuff, they've played together. Totally different from some of the other rounds. And this one looks way better. This one looks like it's actually going to fucking work. It's a shocker. Fucking CSGO is a multiplayer game. And now that they've stopped trying to play it like a single player game, they're fucking doing much better. I know it's only one round, but... Woo! I feel, I feel good.
I'm actually seeing a decent CT fucking hold out of uh, OG here. Yep, fair enough. Hard there. Um, maybe he needed more support from his boys, but once Mantu gets that kill, you don't have to absolutely bust your balls to try and trade him. Oh, great flash. Oh my god, team play and like setups where they could actually help each other. It's mind-blowing how CT is way easier when you do this. Whew. Okay, okay, okay. Now we, we might be able to see him come back in the half because the money... The economy for both teams has been rough throughout the whole half, pretty much. They've both basically been a round loss away from getting broken. As we can see here, uh, only three surviving each time. And then, like, no loss bonus built up, so... Anyway. Uh, again, very heavy uh, tunnels. Probably they're going to go quite fast out here. They're already out. Bowder takes the attention. Oh my god, Nico. Oh my god, Nico. Oh my god, Nico. That's atrocious, buddy. I don't care what... Oh, no. Stop getting your nades out. You know they peak. They keep doing this to you. And you keep getting your nades out. You know they just swing you. It's happened so many times. Stop. Fuck. How many times have I seen an OG player die with a nade in their hands? Oh my god, that was Wick City from Nico. That is a struggle spray. That's that's what we call them, is struggle sprays. Whew. That was Strug City Central. Fours are just cotching, waiting to see if OG are going to walk into their crosshairs. The way OG have been playing on this CT half, not, you know, wouldn't be surprised. Uh, see, again, this is better from OG though. Come play together, boys. Play together. I like it. Especially when... I don't know how much they know about the tags, but I don't like pushing it, though. Ah, it's all right. He's found that Kenzie was back turned. I feel like they could just they could have just played close to sight and waited for the plant sound. Yeah. Shalfi and Kenzie were in a rough spot having no HP there. If I was OG, I would have preferred waiting for the plant, to be honest, uh, because you know one person's then occupado. Or even if he f taps it, like, he still has to get off the bomb and, like, readjust his crosshair and shit, so. But, yeah, it works out. It's all good. OG, like, a massive improvement towards the end of this half now that they've actually started playing together. <laughs> I know I've already said it, but. Uh, yep, just a Glock eco. Looks like they're probably just going to try and, uh. Chilling tunnels. All right, we're gonna we're gonna speed through a lot of this round because it looks like they're just yeah gonna fucking. It's gonna be a bit of a dull round this one. Should just get mowed down. They're gonna go for an A split. They're probably gonna try and have uh, Shalfi come out very late on long. Oh, he's gonna make some noise actually to try and keep the long defender there. There's no way, though, with the three setup. Obviously, Glocks and, and shit, obviously, but no way. Just the fact that OG have three here. If they had two here, maybe you have a chance to slip through and get the bomb down, but yeah. Ooh, a little run boost. Mantu didn't give a shit about that long boost. Long boost? Run boost. And nice and clean. Right, who's going to win the half? We get a decent buy out of everyone. Why are the CTs timing out? Probably because they've fucking sacked off way too many rounds. <laughs> yeah, this is not a good enough CT half. You can't put up CT halves like this even on Dust 2 and expect I win maps with it. Like, oh, you saw, I think Norvi saw the guy in there. Uh... Yeah, he's just getting sprayed down. He got found. Again, Norvi going out on his own. I guess they were hoping to just get him set up. Hmm. Uh, hmm. Maybe we were just hoping he would find a pick. I don't know, though. I don't know. I think that's not a great play from Forza when the tendencies have been from OG to like play a fucking shed load of people long every round. Flames again just gets punished. Flames has been punished every single time he's pushed long, dude. Every single time. Zorta there just opens up the round. Again, two players playing on their own, not tradable. Yeah, I don't know. I Flames, Flames, <laughs> Flames fucking comes across as a super young player. Like he gets bored and has to push. Oh, dropping that mid-B smoke is... Uh, or that, sorry, that CT smoke is cool. 
Uh, are they going to make the right... Oh, I don't know if they're going to make the right call here. Oh, my God. That's a free kill for Shelfie. Yeah, GG. Fours will get the half. Yeah. Uh, I, uh, I honestly, fantastic T half called there by Jerry. Um, OG got better towards the end, but at the start of that half, there was just way too many setups where people are so fucking far apart and have no hope to trade. Way too many people like, I'm going to make a solo hero play. Yeah, not not a, a good, especially the start of it, a pretty piss poor CT half from OG. Um, they were kind of, I think, a little bit um, a little bit fortunate to come away with as many rounds as they did in some sense. But we'll see how this goes. Oh, Zort is a bit in no man's land here, no? Does that play work very often? Didn't seem like very many of them were blinded. It was an interesting play. I'd love to see how often that works for Forza, because that looks like something they know. Oh, Valda kills Kenzie. Yeah, this is round done, so. Once uh, Zorta goes down... Uh, again, once the T's get up short like that and there's been no real c contest, like, it's so fucking hard to hold, eh? Oh my god, Sharpie ducking under all those bullets there. Oh, what? He switches out for the USP? Why? Did not read that there'd be one in CT. It's just kind of weird for Nico to be playing down there, to be fair, in a 2v1. Like, why would you be playing down there? It's such a shit position. But, fair enough, it works out. Interested to see... Yeah, okay, so they are just going to force up. <sighs> Not bored, by the way. Just, uh, you know. I was bored just then, watching them buy. I should have sped through it, shouldn't I? Should be all... Man, so you going to get anything done with this scoot? <clears throat> going out long. So yeah, now they have to give up that long control. Uh, Kenzie pushing short. Yeah, they're going to push short instead. I like this. This is very proactive from Forza. Um, especially on a round like this, they got poor weaponry. Fuck the long control. We'll play like retake or something. We'll just try and like blunt one end of the prong. The problem is on Dust 2 is you can get away with just pushing through long. It, it, I don't like it all the time. I think it's uh, more of a gimmick play and you shouldn't do it too often. The only team that really seem to reliably make it work is Na'Vi. These like creeps up long where like only people go up long. But it looks like Forza kind of know this is going to be the play, especially now that um, Jerry has... Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, probably worth just saving what you have now. Yeah, probably worth just saving. Well, yeah, Forza are falling back. Oh, no, it looks like uh, Jerry wants some... No, he doesn't. Yeah, they're just falling back. Cool. I liked it from Forza, though. Like, OG, you know, did the long crawl, but what are you going to do? they got much better weaponry than you. They're probably always going to win that in the, this kind of round. So, uh, not bad from Forza. Um, didn't pay off. And OG made the right call as well, to be fair, going for that uh, long crawl. They made the right call. Okay. So we'll not see much more of a reinvestment from uh, Fords. Uh, they will just stick with what they got. Kenzie will get himself a cheeky little deaky. Oh, punishing the mid-push. <laughs> oh, Mantu, that was... Mm, damn, son. That was spicy. Oh, Kenzie with a nice shot. Fords still want to fight mid. Oh, Mantu's wrecked Norvi. Oh, man, she's wrecked Kenzie. Yeah, go on. Farm the eeks, baby. I mean, it's not a full eco, but farm those frags. Go on. Go on. Get the ace. Let him have the ace. Nope. Not going to. Yeah, go on. Don't be... Go on, Shalfi. Don't be a bitch. Fight. Nope. He's gone. All right. We're going to speed through this one. This one is donezo. Is Manu going to get his ace? Nah, Valda nicked it. Come on, Valda. Bad teammate, bro. You let Mansu get the fucking uh, the ace, the ace of of just confidence and yeah. Oh. These are the kind of games Mansu always shines in, though. Mansu is like a good orper, but he goes missing in important games against the best teams. This is this is only real problem. Oh, he's missed that though. Yeah, he missed the jump, mate. You're too late. Very very light on the b hold here from Forza. 
not a lot of nades as well which isn't ideal uh but a long player is committed okay i like this just committing to that long setup oh read like a book yeah i think jerry knew that was coming again probably wasn't probably wasn't in a position to get traded but it's not good I'd probably break this long setup now uh, from Forza, seeing the kind of emphasis on middle. I would, I would probably leave uh, Kenzie in his own in pit. It's power position. I'd, I'd probably just leave him. When you have an advantage, it's a little bit easier to leave a CT on their own. think he is gonna leave now yeah well sort is gonna play more towards car at the very least jerry gets wrecked on a solo push <laughs> yeah let's relax with the solo pushes guys on ct very very split now forza this is hard this is a hard round they're very very split sort of couldn't decide who he wanted to kill there good job though that makes the round doable i think oh run 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 oh my god his movement was atrocious bomb's still down someone pick up the fucking bomb and plant Mantu's going to kill this guy. Yep. Yep, yep, yep. It was flashed. It's just unfortunate that, that Mantu was so close. Oh, but they're getting up long very quick here without any real contest. Oh, he's going to die though. Whoever's uh, already up. Number... It's Kenzie. Oh, no, he's not. He got one at least. Oh, Mantu. That was sick, bro. Oh, Zorta. That was sick. Oh, he's so unlucky not to get that. Oh, did he leg him? No, he didn't. He didn't even leg him. No kit. Yeah, this round's over. No kit. Nah, no kit. Okay, some sick shots out of the orbs there. Got a little bit chaotic towards the end. Yeah, that one comes down to the, to the fours of being split 2-2 two, two there. It's just it's so hard. There's, there wasn't much they could do about it, but it is so hard to win the round when you're split 2-2 two, two like that. Like, OG get a 4v2 on the site of their choosing and get the bomb down. Um, It was closer maybe than it should have been. Um, but that, that shot from Mantu on short uh, was probably the key one where he spun around and fucked up the backstab. That was that was sick. That was very nice. All right, what are we going to see out of Forza? Do they force? Oh, I guess they're losing bonus. Yeah, it's sat up, so it's fine. They can do this kind of buy. I like this aggressive push mid. I like it a lot. Zorta should be able to find himself a kill. Yep. Yep, 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 yep. See, I don't like doing this as much as OG have already done it twice now. I don't mind the round that they did it on where they had superior weaponry, but now I think... Uh, they've done it on another superior weaponry round, so it seems to be a tendency. But yeah, I don't like it. It's too predictable. Forza know what you're doing here. You've done it once in the game already. Man, i got to say, I'm not impressed with Nexus leading of, of OG so far. Like, this is... Yeah, I, I again, I think that's a mistake. I It seems like a tendency when they know they have better weaponry. They're like, we'll just send five long. I don't know, man. I don't know. It it was a... Uh, it worked on the first time you did it. That time, I think you were read like a book. You were read like a book. And you already know the Zortus push mid had no contest from lower or anything like that. I think you just kind of walked into their own demise there. Not been impressed by uh, Nexus calling. On the CT side, you can forgive some of it because he's probably not microing every setup there. But on this T side, I think that was a big mistake, that call. And I don't think it was a hard mistake to avoid, if I'm perfectly frank. Man, I feel like Forza have been the better team by far. Um, OG have been bailed out definitely by their individuals a little bit. And I'm... Uh... From what I've seen, I'm shocked that the round that it's as close as it is. But I guess losing the pistol is probably what that is there. So fuck pistol rounds. But I think overall Forza have definitely been the better team so far. Definitely had the better calling. Jerry called a really nice T side. Um, should be able to yeah handle this pretty easily. Yeah, send the pistols out first, bro. Fine. We got two more flashes. Oh, there you go. Send the pistols out first. Battle got something done. Shalfi finds one from window. And this one is probably over and done with, boys. Pack it up. Pack it in. Might get the bomb down for a little bit of extra cash. That will be great for the OG coffers moving forwards.
but I think he's going to go down here. Oh, not a bad attempt with the burst. Unfortunately, the burst clock is terrible. It is a waste of time. So Forza are going to complete the defuse, just running around to collect all of the goodies possible. Everyone's upgrading their pistols, picking up any spare nades. I don't think there were any leftover nades, but it doesn't hurt to take a look. It's going to be a good buy coming out for OG now. They can get the AWP out should they so choose. They choose not to drop an AWP for Mantu. So they're going to go for the 5 AKs. Not too surprising on T side. A lot of the time you will just want 5 AKs. And the T AWP is less powerful with the mid changes on Dust2. That is for sure. Interested to see what kind of approach. Okay, so we're going to get quite a heavy B lean. It doesn't necessarily mean it's a B play, but the default is very... Oh, wow. I like that um, setup from Shalfi there. Very nice. And he's on this lower play. That flash is not good. They're going to probably have to throw another one if they want to go down into the... No, they just peek it blind. Oh, Shalfi whiffs a sitter there. That's a sitter. Should have hit that shot. They're set up for this, though. So he's also okay to play this now because he knows no one can be that close. He's going to fall back fairly quickly though. Yeah, he can't hold that angle for very long. OG kind of all trapped in tunnels here. Uh, Forza don't seem to be reading this play very well though. I guess they've given up the short info. So this is not a bad call I think from... Uh, oh, good shot from Shalfi there though. Oh, very good from Shalfi there. Much, much better. Much better. Absolutely dismantles that B hit. Really well played. And now Nori just has to stay alive. Playtime. Let his teammates get in to help. Good play from Norvi. Very nice. Very nice play as the anchor there. Exactly what you need to do. Just stay alive. Now, Forza don't have to pressure the issue. If they really want, they can let Nico have the bomb plant. That is a bit suspect from Zorta. Giving Nico more of a chance to win it than he needed to there. Not sure why he's coming through the door there. Was he trapped by the molly? Did he have no choice? And yeah, just the second he taps, they both run through. And that is a good win for Forza. Probably lost more than they might have liked to, especially when Shalfi gets those three kills. Zorta running through the window was a little bit suspect, but in the end, it doesn't matter too much. They don't get the bomb down OG, so they're going to have to just do take a partial here. The Eagles and P250s, a little bit of utility. But yeah, Forza now really taking control of this half. You... I like Jerry there picking up the MP9, farming a bit of cat. I like this aggressive play up into lower as well. Oh, somebody far back there giving Jerry a little tag. They're going to go out long here. So Forza are now going to have to shift their setup because they kind of have just sacked off A entirely. So yeah, now you can see that they are shifting their setup. It's Kenzie and Jerry just reworking the positions so that they have a bit more long control. Very aggressive from Forza here. I like this, not allowing OG to get set up. And they've kind of got a boxed in on long. This should be a full one conclusion this round, unless some Deagle bangers are hit. Oh my gosh. <laughs> yep. And uh, yeah, that's just mopped up this one. mopped up as i said going into a buy now though for og forza with the one round lead honestly without losing the second half pistol forza probably are looking at comfortably closing this game out the reason it is as close as it is is just because og managed to rack up as you can see a bunch of rounds off of that pistol win <laughs> Now what we're going to need to see from Forza, really this is the key gun round. If Forza win this, they're going to have a giant, enormous bank for the rest of the half. And it's going to be very difficult for OG to get anything done. OG are going to have to take a save in the next and that'll be 14 for Forza. So this is the key gun round. OG really need to win this one to give themselves much of a chance. Otherwise I think the map runs away from them. Very heavy A presence, and Forza actually has set up pretty well to deal with this. Obviously, Zorta in CT can very quickly pivot to assist with the long hold. They got two at long ready to fight. Jerry is kind of a backup on the long. The problem is, is this short play. Yeah, they are going to have to kind of give up short control. They're basically banking on holding long, so that even if the short get up and they get a plant down or whatever, then the long... Hmm, yep, here we go. Yeah, they crush the long side of the attack. 
So now all that Forza need to do is not die on the rest of the map. Yeah. It was a good setup from Forza. OG again, just, just, I don't like this all long thing. They've done it a few rounds in a, and it's just not really worked out. It worked out on the second round on the Forza Force, obviously after they, uh, after OG won the pistol. And since then, it's just not had any joy. It's really not looked impressive at all. It's, it's looked severely lacking. Uh, yeah, this is really rough for OG now. They're going to have to... They could try a force. They're probably going to just take a partial. Forza have a ginormous bank now on a few players. Yeah, this is a very, very rough position for OG to be in. They've dug themselves into a big hole. And in all honesty, I think it's been just generally pretty poor calling. I, I don't like this all long thing that teams do. I think it only ever works reliably for Na'Vi. They're the only team I've ever seen like make it work reliably. Uh, just all B. I th feel like Forza maybe wanted to lean one more towards B here. I, I Like, they know OG are going to be on a partial right. Okay, Zorta very quickly rotating. Yeah, okay, so it's the right it's the right idea. Don't get a nade out. Oh, Norwe gets two. Zorta gets another. Yeah, just absolutely takes it apart. Good hold. Zorta rotated quickly enough. So, yeah, Forza were cognizant uh, that the B play could be coming. And this is OG's last chance. Uh, they, uh, I mean, they needed to win the last one to make it realistic. Um, but they, they definitely need to, to win this one. Otherwise, the game is done. As you can see, that bank on Forza is ginormous. They're basically going to be able to buy for the rest of the half. And this is rough for OG. I don't like the calling on this uh, T side. Uh, the CT setups were not great early, but they recovered it towards the end of the half. But yeah, this has been some not great CT. Oh, they're doing it again. They're going to go five long again with maybe one for a backstab or one Nico holding the backstab even. He's not even going to go for it. Double short setup. They're going to fall back. They are going to have the ability to deal with this long pressure if they want. They pushed into tunnels already. Yeah, this, this looks a really rough round for OG. Again, Forza have got all the information and the whole setup. Uh, OG just hanging around. Yeah, it looks like OG have kind of run out of ideas here, man. This is uh, not giving me a lot of faith. A bit of a one-way there. And Zorta is kind of trying to play around it. I think Zorta doesn't need to be quite this aggressive. Clock is already running down here, man. And Forza have tons of utility left. This is, um, yeah, wow. This is not looking good for OG. Okay, they're going to have to go super pacey off this. They're going to have to go super pacey off this. Okay, that's the, the pick they really needed. Already three here. But the problem is, is two, I think, are stuck in CT. Only Jerry is actually on the site. Yeah, wow. Wow, okay. OG really, really get away with that. I, like I say, I don't think Zorta needs to play as aggressively as he was. When the time gets that low, I don't think Zorta needs to play around that smoke like that. I think that's probably the big mistake in the round. Other than that, OG did exactly what they needed to do. They needed to be very, very pacey with that hit. They needed to be decisive. Their flashbangs needed to be on point, and they were... Um, so that was great. Again, like I say, a bit of the problem with that setup there for Forza is um, once Sorter goes down, only Jerry is on the site and two are stuck in CT. And it's really awkward to kind of help um, deal with that hit. If you're one of the CT players, it's, it's pretty rough. I wonder if Jerry maybe needed to just fall back to shore and play something of a retake setup. Just try and get one. He kind of committed to fighting on the site. But it's a rough round anyway. Once Sorter goes down, it becomes a lot more difficult. So OG recover, they get themselves another chance. They drain some of the bank from Forza, but Forza still probably have another bite after this. Shalfi misses a shot, needs to fall back quickly. Yeah, not quickly enough. Yeah, that, that's a bit matchmaking -y there. They probably need to realize they have to stay and fight. Um, or someone needs to throw a flashbang, or someone needs to throw a smoke to get them out. Forza, maybe the inexperience showing a little bit here. They seem to be uh, 
not quite closing this with the decisiveness that a more experienced team would but they are still in the driver's seat. I might even consider if this round gets out of hand. Oh, OG are going for the five-man long again because it worked last rounds. It's a better situation to be doing it in simply because of the fact... Norway, there's no... Mm, I don't know. I don't like that. I don't like that again. Ah, I don't know. Okay, maybe I'm being a bit harsh there. I think um, I'll let him off because it was a disadvantaged situation. Yeah, the, the youngsters are starting to whiff a few shots that maybe they should hit. Zorto is completely committed here at Gandalf, so there is uh, no option but to fight Nico. Yeah, this is Nico's on the backstab. Yeah, this one's done. Nico with a very, very delayed backstab through short. So Forza, honestly, I think they have kind of shot themselves in the foot. A few misplays, a little bit, I think, of inexperience showing. And yeah, this is the right time, I think, to call a timeout. Just settle the young heads, rally the boys, talk to them about what they need to do to get this done. Going back to the double orb, Forza. I don't think the double orb itself per se has been that great. We've seen a couple of decent moments from Zorta and Shalfi on it, but I wouldn't say the double orb has been absolutely key. Wow, Shalfi likes this just absolutely wild, just fucking mid. But I guess this is because of the changes. Again, this is very much down to the changes of Dust uh, 2 with the, with the top top mid changes so that the t's can't look down with the orp there's there's a window basically of opportunity as an orper on ct where you know you can probably get away with a little bit of aggressive maneuvering in mid before there's too much of a chance that you're going to get punished so for the first time really this half we haven't seen too much of this it's a standard dust to like t round from og taking mid control taking the short and cat control Forza have a pretty good setup to deal with this, though, with the three on long. A lot might hinge on this here. If Nico can get a kill here, this is going to be a difficult one for Forza to put together. They're going to get some false information. I think he's just going to... Oh, Shalfi hits that! Oh, Nico's going to be upset with himself there, but that was a crazy shot from Shalfi to hit. And yeah, this is now, I think, tough with no long prong to the attack. OG have played some weird fucking rounds, man. With just no, like, one prong to the attack almost every time and sheer brute force being 90% of what they're trying. Yeah, this should fall apart from OG. Some bangers would need to be hit. <laughs> uh, uh, okay. I don't know why they're taking for granted that uh, Goose is clear. And Mantu is going to walk away with this AWP and try his best to save it. Valder and Mantu carrying the torch here for OG. But honestly, the only reason, or a lot of the reason this is this close is one, the T-Pistol and getting four rounds off that T-Pistol. And two, the individuals. Uh, Mantu at least one round bailed them out. At least two, actually, because he bailed them out with that pick on Shorter. Uh, Shorter? Zorta. Um, a couple of rounds back. But... OG have a buy, and if they... Uh, this is in the balance now, really. I know Forza have the, obviously, the two-round lead. They only need one more round. But if they lose this one, they're not going to have a great buy in the next. And OG will have a good buy, obviously, if they win. Um, even if, like, they lose most people, because there's, like, a K on Flames, K on Mantu 2 on Valda, they'll still have a decent buy. Norway needs to get that, man. Again, just brute force from OG. This has been like a pretty uh, simplistic T-half called. And it's just basically been brute force. Not a lot of attempts at reads either. Man, watching this game has given me not very much faith in Nexa as an in-game leader. This has been a brutally simplistic T-half. And the CT was not fantastic either. Mantu... Again, going to get the heavy lifting done. Mantu's had a great game, um, as has Valda. But Mantu, in terms particularly, not just of brawl fragging, but also impact, he's been very, very big. So Kenzie managing to save the AWP means Forza are going to be able to cobble together something respectable in the next. Definitely going to be able to cobble together something of note. But it's, it's still going to be very rough, even around the AWP. So Zorta's going to get the AWP. Kenzie already has armor at least. So yeah, they're going to talk about this one. They're going to try and figure out exactly what they need to get done here. 
this war that yeah forza will kick themselves i mean i know forza win this but forza would uh, would be kicking themselves if they lost this game because really they've been the better team they were in the driving seat for a lot of this game and really they've just been done in by the brute force from og the, the better individuals i think the individuals doing a bit better under pressure as well so this should be an og round this is this is a really rough one for forza to get anything done on They've already drained a shitload of their utility. They probably need to try and hang on to most of the remaining utility. Um, maybe some of these smokes can go up, but they need to save some flashes and some grenades for if and when the hit comes in. But again, Forza probably also should be reading this a little better. It looks like they're reading it relatively well in terms of the fact that it's... Yeah, and they get one back onto the side. So they've set themselves up as best as they could here, Forza. They have read it again, the play. Unlucky for Zorta to not get more done there. Oh my gosh, okay, now this. Okay, Nexa gets this frag. Man, I don't know how OG have got around with, away with some of these. I do not know how OG have gotten away with some of these. Because this dust 2 has been cack. Oh, Jerry gets one. Oh, can't get away though. Very unlucky. Man 2 again, bailing him out, man. Mantu has gone ham towards the end of this game to bail OG out of a lot of roughs and he even gets that frag. Wow, Mantu MVP by far for OG, man. Bailed them out so many times towards the end of that half. OG had no business even getting to 15-15 in this one. They have played a doo-doo dust two here. Um, if you're an OG player watching this, like I don't know how you can watch this demo back and not think your dust two needs some major work because this was not good. You've been bailed out by a 30 bomb from Mantu. And Valda having a pretty good game as well. Like, And I think getting a little bit fortunate, the Forza squandered, I think, some opportunities, probably due to a little bit of inexperience towards the very end there. Forza's T half was definitely their better half, but they even set themselves up, I think, a few times for success on that CT half and squandered it. So... If I think if you're Forza and you can get two on this CT, you, you would go so confidently into the next. Oh, they've read the play here as well. Very aggressive into lower. They've read it pretty well. Oh, OG are going to fall back. It's the right decision. Okay, so that was a better T approach there, I think, from OG. Just seeing if they got the long control from free, being set up in tunnels in such a way that for example, if tons of people fight long for Forza, then they can go out um, B. And that's playing a little bit off of some of the CT te tendencies from Forza. So I actually like that. That was the first time I have kind of a, thought a decent call came out on the T side from OG. That was not a bad round. The thing is, again, o o Forza have read the play so well. Jerry has called an absolutely banger game here, man. Again, they've read the play. They've, they've read it like a, a book. I know Dust2 isn't always the hardest to make reads on. But yeah, J Jerry has called a fantastic, fantastic Dust2 here, man. Really, really amazing. OG are going back. Do they have time? This is going to rely on just being clean as fuck. Maybe not the worst call because... Hmm, they've left Mantu on the lurk. Maybe not the worst call. Yeah, Forza is still very committed. Oh, getting two there, Shalfi. Yeah, that's that's back. That's mega. That's absolutely mega. Very quick into lower from Jerry. This is the right call. If they can cross without being punished by Mantu, but they are punished. Okay. OG have managed to put this one together. I didn't think it was going to... And again, Mantu doing a lot of the work. Mantu again doing so much of the work there. Wow. Wow, another one where Mantu... Yeah, those kills in mid were absolutely key. Forza realised just a little bit too late that that play was coming. That that was a much better T round uh, out of OG. There was actually some, some thought went into it. There was some smoke and mirrors. It wasn't as simplistic and relying sheerly on brute force. Even then, they still needed Mantu to do a lot in mid there. There was a lot of impact again from Mantu. Potentially a fairly quick B here. Doesn't look like it. Looks like they bailed out of it already. Zorta should get one here. Oh, good flash. Very, very good flash bang. 
Very good flashbang from OG. That's nice. OG looking more diligent already here. It looks like the OT pressure has kicked in. They're looking more diligent. They're looking more creative. And they've called again. They've they've made the right call here. This is going to be tough for Norvi. Norvi would have to go absolutely ginormo. Oh, I like his angle he's taken though. I like it. No, just just too too tough for him. Oh, Mantu's being a bit of a maniac here. Oh, it's fine. They they get it all done in middle there. Oh. Oof. It all got a bit hectic there in middle. Mantu again, man. Ma Mantu is having a banger game here. Really, really is. He he has been high impact. Basically bailed OG out of the entire back end of that T half just over and over and over with really high impact frags and whatnot. Z is going to go for the... And now Forza need to try and pick up a round with absolutely bugger piss all. This is not uh, pleasant. Mantu picking it up for the trade. Flames is having a rough game by his standards. Okay, so they've already kind of put a stop. Oh, Shalfi. Oh, Shalfi. This is huge. OG have left a huge gap in their default. I think Forza probably finally picking up on this tendency to just stick 28 million people at long. Yeah, this is falling apart already for OG, probably. This is already really rough. Nico's just not involved in this round until very, very late. Zorta with a sick headshot. Yes. Nico's lurks, man, are uh, very hit and miss. There are a lot of rounds where he lurks in such a way where it's like, you're never going to get involved in this round unless, like, a very specific rotation occurs. It, you, you're not giving yourselves, I don't think, the best chance to get involved. I think a few times Nico's had that. And not necessarily his fault, by the way. It could be the way... Um, oh, my God. Zorta kind of got dizzy there. Why didn't he just fight? Why <laughs> he tried to escape? It was never happening. Still should be the round. Oh, Nico, where are you getting? There's no saving, buddy. Yeah, they're just keeping boxed in. Kenzie will come on a quick backstab if uh, Nico pushes up. Uh, if I was Kenzie, I'd probably try to get a little bit more advanced info, but he's going to just... And I would get a little bit closer. Uh, Shalfie, sorry. If I was Shalfie, I'd get a little bit more advanced info. This off angle is rough, though. Yeah, that is such a rough off angle. I think they knew that Nico was tagged up there. So, um... Yeah, really big play up short there, honestly, for Forza. They found the hole in OG. They found the gap. Uh, great, great call there. Whoever made that call, really, really well played. That uh, You've got to take some risks, uh, especially in that kind of situation. And uh, they took the right risk there. Shalfi with a humongous round. Zorta not with the most frags, but he's generally been quite impactful when he has found frags. And yeah, just a general team effort from Forza boys. It's been great. Um, l very low impact, I think, in general from the three players outside of Valder and Mantu. And really, Mantu has been the guy putting OG on his back in this one. Let's see if Forza can... I have confidence now, honestly. Because Forza's T side was so damn good in the first half. Yeah, I, I got to... I mean, uh, I obviously know the result. But you know what I mean. I would be having a lot of faith anyway. I thought Forza had a very, very good T side. Um, just like Jerry was making the right call nine times out of ten, reading Nexa like a book. And I think this is where Nexa's very simplistic approach as an in-game leader will get exposed. Someone like Carrigan, I think, will, will absolutely fuck Nexa teams up because he will just read you like a book. Oh, Mantu, maybe. Mantu can maybe get the pick here. Man, a lot. Again, this so spread out, this CT setup. I hate it. It's so spread out. Guy on longs alone. Guy on shorts alone. Guy on CT is basically alone. The two guys on B are the only people who can help each other. Okay, now they're rotating into actually being able to support each other. But even then, the guy now fucking next to in CT is on his lonesome. Fuck, I hate the way OG are playing Dust 2 here. On both halves of the map, I have despised this. It's getting late in the round, though. Mm, if they go very decisively and get a good one onto Nexa, they've got some flashes and smokes ready. Nexa with a good molly. 
This is going to rely on some entry work here. Oh, Nexa, bro. You need to do way better there. Round falls apart on Nexa. Can't let his AWPA die long like that. Can't let his AWPA get shot in the back like that. Needs to, to get that way cleaner. Balder with a very good read there. They should go for this. Still should probably go for this. Norvi's going to yeah pick him apart. Yeah, this is so hard now. Okay. Ooh, okay, for a second it looked like Forza were, were thinking about throwing that round away. But yeah, round falls apart on Nexa there. He was the linchpin. Very good observing because he was the linchpin. And yeah, he, he needed to, to get that kill cleanly. Couldn't let his AWP die there. Maybe it's very hard to do just because the swing comes in so quickly. And like, you know, it's again, classic fucking CS. The mo When the guys goes back turn to you, it's so hard to hit the headshot. Ooh. What is the approach here from... Again, a guy... Yeah, what the fuck is Nexa doing, man? What the fuck, man? And yeah, they all just die on their own again. Yeah. OG, OG deserves to lose this game, man. They played a disgusting Dust 2. In the bad sense of the word. Like, this Dust 2 has made me want to vomit. I don't even understand how it's been so close. Oh, yeah, I saw that one from Norvi. I saw that highlight. Mm, that is a fucking banger shot. Dude, these uh, Forza boys, are uh, they're pretty much across the board. Like, high skill, man. High skill. And they're playing very disciplined. They clearly believe in their IGL Jerry. I predicted Forza to go through, man. I forgot. I'm an effing genius. I actually think I'm going to get this entirely correct. I think I'm going to... If the rest of the RMR goes the way it should... I'm pretty sure I'm going to get my RMR predictions bang on. But yeah, this is just giving me absolutely increased faith in Forza, man. They are sick. They are good. They are a legitly, legit good team. Legitly? That's not a word. Again, they're so spread out, OG. Stop it. Stop it. You can't help each other. You're all just going to die one by one. Oh my god, OG. Oh my god. Yep. Yeah. And on the round, Flames should be pushing. He's not. Yeah, yeah. Honestly, it was a fucking miracle that it was even this close. And the only reason, really, it was this close is A, like I say, T pistol. But also, uh, yeah, Mantu going absolutely bananas. Otherwise, this game was done so ages ago. Yeah. Yeah, this one's over. Fair enough, Val just gotta try and make a play there. Oh, you here, you here? Oh no, sorry. Blech. Heard the wrong steps there. Yeah, just nothing to be found here from uh, OG. Yeah, they're gonna try and go now. Yeah, and they just get picked to pieces. Flames is a really poor game by his standards, man. He's, he's a better player than this. Right. Yeah, very, very good stuff from Forza there. Fantastic T side, Jerry, with lots of very good calls. I was so impressed by Forza there, honestly. That was that was very much a good... They were good on both sides of the map, I think, there. Jerry was making the right call nine times out of ten. A little bit sloppy on their CT side. I think the inexperience showing a couple of unnecessary overpeaks, a couple of unnecessary plays from the individuals i think on their ct side but oh gee man uh, what the fuck are half of those ct setups dudes like you you give yourselves no chance to trade you're relying on your individuals to get multi frags every single fucking round for you to have any hope and that tc that t side 90 like 75 percent of that t side was so fucking simplistic that it, it wasn't actually that hard for jerry to read og awful dust two forza great dust two they will give lots of team's problems on dust two if they play like that and they really deserve to win that game um special shout out to shelfie i think for the play towards the end of that game up short with the fam ass I saved the game for them when it looked like it was going to be a heartbreaking defeat in a game they probably deserve to win and shout out to mantu for basically keeping his team in that because he bailed them out of the back half of that t t side when nexa clearly had no ideas mantu was basically just brute force getting tons of frags to to basically bring that map home 
uh, and in the end it wasn't enough hope you enjoyed the video guys a little bit different of a demo review from me let me know with the likes and the favorites favoriting isn't a thing comment uh bell as well you know all that ting and if you did not like it you're probably og in which case go and watch the demo yourself i promise you you will be like wow our dust 2 was cack it was bad and the only reason we were close is because man 2 carried us